Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Samba Night, Holy Night. The read-along for this event that I've been doing basically daily. The back half of these episodes are going to be super long because I realized that I'm going to run out of time to upload them because it 12, 12 days was not enough. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump into this, get going. Uh, you can leave a like and comment if you want to show your support for me doing this. It helps me a whole bunch, and also I appreciate it. Uh, hit it. Mm. This video series is worth it just for me to hear this music every time it plays. Alright, let's get into it. Again, this is a long one. A killer finisher? Uh, I love the sound of that. It has its own unique flavor, even different from a noble phantasm. I'll admit, I was a little je jealous whenever I saw the others double teaming. Phrasing! Whenever I saw the others double teaming us. Uh, I know what she means. Phrasing. So I welcome this challenge. I'll endure any training if it takes to learn our own killer finisher, no matter how harsh. I mean, I might have a little difficulty with being trapped and abandoned in an illusionary garden or other trials of mental fortitude. fortitude. But I'm great at physical obstacles, like climbing out of deep pits. I'm a lot tougher than I look. Don't worry, I think this will be probably... I think this will probably play more into your strength, yes? Ow. We'll use these big trees. I just pulled one of the ground as a training dummy. Think of the tree's root as your opponent's feet and their branches as arms. Got it. So the idea is to float the dummies down the river and land the move on them when they go down the waterfall. Very well, I'll take care of that part of your training. Muchas gracias. Now as far as the actual developing this move goes... I see. So we need to land the move on the dummy, all without succumbing to the waterfall's intense pressure. This is straight out of Kaniku Man. And not only that, we have to do as exactly at the do do. Not only that, we have to do so at, at exactly the same time. Okay, let's do it. We may not have much time, but I'll do whatever it takes to make sure this new move is ready for my next match. Be careful you don't get hurt. Thank you, Wilkie. Fofo. Fo. I can feel all your expectations riding on me, Wilkie, our dependable trainer slash manager, Lord Foe, Mash, Coach Martha, Jesus. Well, don't worry, everyone. Give up just isn't in my vocabulary. Just like Romeo isn't whatever her name of her husband is. I give up. Oop, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> Purify. Purifying recovery. Oh, yeah, that's one of the name of one of my skills. Thanks, Wokey. I'm all set now. Está bien, brother man? I'm fine, but what about you? You must be at least as tired as me. I could do this. <laughs> I could do this all day, yes. Our timing is getting better as we go. Let's keep turning. Took their words right out of my mouth. Just keep them coming. Here comes the next training dummy. Bam, right in her. Right in her chest. Nuts. I think I've said this before, but you should really pay attention to Bradamante's vagina when she shows up. Because the, the area is something else. There you are, meow. Just specifically the outfit, how it's designed. It's like borderline of, like a bikini. Guess who has to keep officiating the tournament even though she lost her own match? Yep, this cat here. Anyway, our next match is about to start, so hurry up and... Can you hang on for just a little bit more? Shh, we're just getting to the best part. This is the last one, here goes. Uno, dos, tres, ole! King Charlemagne, please, let this be where all our hard work pays off. Whoa, what was that? That was... Fo, 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 fo. Looks like they just barely made it. It's still a long way from perfect, but we did finally see a glimpse of what we'll eventually become. Phew, 
I said that was muy bueno, considering how little time we had. Now if we can just pull it off in the rain. Don't worry, I'm good at coming through when it really counts. Now come on, it's finally time for the semi-final. Run, 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 run. Damn, that move of theirs was really something else. I honestly didn't think that kind of stuffy Chagaldea team would be able to beat their next opponent. But meow, I'm wondering if we might just possibly see an upset. We could. Don't go chasing waterfalls. There we go. Let's see. Where are you, Bradman? I need you to show up on this damn list. There we go. That works for me. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Cold as fuck. For you. For, for. It looks like it's snowing a lot harder there right now. Are you guys gonna be okay? It's almost like it's gotten colder to demonstrate how harsh this match will be. Don't worry, no snowstorm can extinguish the fires of justice that burn within the hearts of true and just knights. Besides, it looks like we're up against a couple of particularly, particularly large luchadors, yes? Large? You are wrong there. If anything, you should be honored that I deem to make myself so small. Nod. We have come from the freezing lands of Russia to do dominate this tiny ring. I could squash you where you stand, but in my infinite generosity I chose not to. You will have to forgive, forgive me for the blizzard that I could not leave behind. Regardless, now that I am here, you have but three ca tasks. Count your blessings, eat your vitamins, uh, count your blessings, bow your heads before me in fear, and place your shoulders in the mat until the count of three. That's Ivan the Terrible. He's as big as they come. I never expected to see him here. Do not be so surprised. This battle's victor will gain the power of Christmas Eternal, and with it, bring winter everlasting. Thus, if Santa Claus is the ruler of endless winter, the universal symbol of ice and snow, then I, the Tsar, am right, will Santa. Hmm? Four? As such, as such, the answer is clear. The true star is the one who should possess the true power of Santa Claus. I must have a lot of work finding a golem to be your partner. Was there no no one big enough for the job? See, si, one of the best parts of Lucha is facing opponents with good ring names like El Grande and El Gigante and <laughs> Andre the Giant. But bigger is not always better, no? Thank you, Quetz. Small kings. <laughs> Small kings rule. <laughs> A foolish, a foolish notion. You think of my partner a mere golem? Mammoth Tosk. Huh? Why did he stab the golem with that huge tusk? Did they have a falling out before we got here? Heh, <laughs> seems you aren't familiar with masked wrestlers wearing more than just one mask. What are you talking about? I encased my body with this in this icy form so our way here because it was so goddamn hot. Anastasia. You mean Anastasia was inside all along? The golem's body just shattered. Ivan and I aren't exactly on great terms, but we decided to put aside our differences just for this tournament. I too heartily agree that the Russian Tsars are the rightful heirs to Santa Claus's throne. And since our interests align, here we are. Sure, his eyes are kind of okay, very scary, but I can deal with them. And so history's two strongest stars come together, came together to form a dream team to achieve their mutual goal. Oh, we don't answer to Black Quetzal Mask. We're one of the four Heavenly Kings because we're just that strong. Just to be clear, in Russia we need no concern ourselves with who shall be reindeer. The role will be will go to Old Man Frost, Death and Dead Moros. Anastasia would have been Snarkro, the Snow Maiden, of course, but. That would have been a bit on the nose, especially since I'm already very similar to her in general. They don't seem like the most well-coordinated team, but their noble demeanor <laughs> belies tremendous confidence. They would probably even give Charlemagne a good run. Charlemagne a good run. 
We definitely can't let our guard down around them. Do not underestimate us, Knight of Old France. V here, with me and the Imperial family, has long been proficient in the art of self-defense. Besides, I'm actually stronger than I look. My strength may only be rank E, but there are a number of ways to make up for that. Why don't we go ahead and show them what I mean, your terribleness? Very well. Huh? It looks like Anastasia is wearing Ivan the Ter- What? <laughs> is it wearing Ivan the Terrible like an upside down backpack? This move demonstrates our glory and shows the world what stars are made of. Try this on for size. This is our invincible move. Mammoth Tusk Train! This is also a Nikamu reference. Wow. There's even animated stuff in it. Dos Dios mio, get out of the way, yes? I turned into, again, Dracula. The once I... The fucking Dracula voice is ruining my Spanish. So you dodged it. Good. The match is no fun if you can't put up a decent fight. That speed, they must be using Wind 30 Magecraft that lets them remove the friction from their feet, yes? That would mean they're basically ice skating around. Pretty clever. So that's how they charge at us so quickly. I'm guessing they're... <laughs> They're only using Magecraft to help the girl carry the big guy on her back. But then again, Stoffel sometimes pulls off feats of monster strength in the even in that skinny body of his. So maybe she just she's just really strong, regardless of what her strength rank might be. Hey, I haven't even rung the bell yet. Oh well, you've already started, so you can't stop now. In the red corner, representing Russia, we have the Tsar Missionaries. In the blue corner, representing Paldea, we have the Quetzal Sisters. Now let the first match of the semifinals begin. Oh, 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 oh. What did that say? The SAR missionaries? Man, so cool. This event's awesome. It, that is maybe the most blatant the, the like the back half of this has been maybe the most blatant I guess this is the part of Kinnikuman Man they literally couldn't erase it seems like they had done a pretty decent job of kind of sanding out a lot of the Kinnikuman Man references but <laughs> the end of it here with um, some literal moves that were from Kinnikuman Man and some sp specific uh, story beats kind of hard to get away from that so I'll use this. I'm pretty sure both of these dudes are AoE, so that's a that's a big sucky. So let me go here and completely fucking wreck Anastasia. I feel like I should get rid of Ivan. Because I'm not afraid of Anastasia, but I am kind of afraid of Ivan. So I'll get rid of Ivan first. Because Anastasia won't be able to do any damage to me, I think. You need more time. I am the flame! I can't pronounce that shit. I don't know. Man, she's strong now. I love that MP2 quets. Mmm. By the way, I don't think I've mentioned it, but I did go back and did like two single tickets pulls on that banner, and I ended up getting a, um. <laughs> a uh, Napoleon. Mammoth Tusk Queen. No invincibility. Well, it's fine because I have guts. All right, let's see. I think I want to get rid of him right away. So here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's perfect. I think this should be enough to completely wipe him off the floor. But let me go here. No, it wasn't. Damn, if I had another Buster card, I would have been able to completely. It's fine. Next turn, he's dead anyway. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, and it removes buffs, too? That's annoying. That's very annoying. Let me see. Can I look at your... Okay. I think it's only once, though, so it should be fine. Go here. Beat up on Anastasia for a bit. Oh, does Anastasia have it too? God, that's annoying. Oh, it's only for one hit? Oh, it's for two hits. That's even more annoying now that I think about it. 
swings the beam. Okay, now he wants it. Good. Okay, get ready to get fucking whooped. I should have used um, Brad Abonte's guts. It should be fine. Show that butt, girl. Oh man, if he doesn't disappear, that means that there's more to this fight, isn't there? If a unit doesn't disappear, that usually means that um, you're not done fighting them. So let me quickly use this, just in case. Get ready, Anastasia. You are not- you have not been this completely fucked since your entire family was murdered in front of you. Get ready for this. Funny enough, I used Quetz to destroy Anastasia in um, the Lost Bell story, too. <laughs> oh, mm. Love that. With no buffs whatsoever, she does that much. I love it. Oh, to be fair, I think she has an innate buff from the event, but whatever. Don't fucking judge. Don't come at me, bro. I don't want to fucking hear it. Being like, oh man, she's only this strong because she has a super duper crazy buff. Well, fuck off. That's what I have to say to you. Imaginary person in my head. No, it's if, if they don't get immediately defeated, that means they're in the next cutscene. So let's go in here. <laughs> rush, 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 rush. They're still so fast. I thought they'd, they'd be at least a little slower now, but they just keep coming and going, yes? But not, and not only that, yeah. Explosion. Just look at how hard they hit, even when they barely touch us. Their sheer mass is incredible. An absolute unit. Colliding with them feels like getting hit by a train. And trust me, that hurts like hell. I mean, I'm pushing through the pain, but still. Heh, <laughs> you make an astute observation. My size and strength do not merely come from power of tundra, but of the entire earth. I am great star after all. Enemy though you may be, I must commend your judgment and shapely rear. What? And your shapely rear end, young wrestler. Come see me after the match and I'll gladly shake your hand. I would love to throw the great Tsar off his pyramid now, but I will refrain. Now is not the t now is the time to endure. I'm willing to endure any humiliation for the sake of mischief. I'm, I mean victory. Uh, I've even tried listening to rock music lately, though I can't understand the appeal. God, Anastasia, you suck. You're the most basic white girl in all of Fate Grand Order. My point is, you may be dodging our attacks now, but you can't keep that up forever. The Mammoth Tusk Dream has no breaks. I'll spare you the actual calculations, but the force of our charge exceeds 10 million star power. At best, you have to know more than 1 million star power each. The numbers don't lie, and you have no chance of winning at sacrifice. Big Papa Pump got your hook up. I don't think that's a real unit of measurement. Hmm. So far, we've we've been able to dodge by keeping to a samba beat, but it's only going to run us ragged, yes? No, no, I refuse to accept defeat. I'm not going to lose now. Even if they are stronger than us, we can more than make up for it with sheer willpower. My willpower has gotten me through all sorts of tight spots before. My faith in justice, in my king, has always been rewarded. There's no reason this time that should be any different. As long as we stay focused and keep on fighting, I'm sure we'll find a way to win in the end. Your fortitude is both admirable and beautiful. No matter the willpower of an ant demonstrated, it can never threaten a mammoth. It will only, it will always and only ever be an ant. Mammoth to strain! I won't let you win. I refuse to give up now. I can't afford to lose after coming this far. Row, row, fight. Let's do it, Quetzal Mask. Are you sure? We may have started to... Are you sure? We may have started to get the hang of it in our training, but it's still far from complete. It's usually not a good idea to use moves like that in circumstances this dire. Maybe so, but it's our only chance of winning. 
I can see how serious you are about this. Okay, let's do it, yes? Hmm? What are you they up to? Wetzel Mask put her hands together and Bradamante's on top of them like she's getting ready to jump. I knew it, they're, getting to, they're going to execute the new move they've been practicing. I am both the foundation and the launch pad. First I jump with all of my might. Then I throw you as a present with all of my gift giving power. Then I jump at the same time as hard as I can, turning myself into an arrow. My magical shield becomes the arrowhead that is very elaborate sort of shield bash, really. Granted, I feel I may have already been doing something similar up until now without realizing it. But this time I'm going to focus on converting all my shield's defenses power to offense. This move is a combination of Quetzal Mass's present drop and Bradamante's shield bash charge attack. Try our new move! A Beauclair present drop, yes? Montieu, go! Ridiculous. A sword never shows their back to an enemy. I forbid you to dodge, Anastasia. I know, it doesn't matter what sort of attack they try. Nothing they can do surpasses our 10 million sar power. We will crush them head on. Mammoth to strain. They're gonna collide. Which move will win? I can tell the move is still incomplete. I can already see how this will play out. I'm fully aware the odds are stocked, stocked, stacked against us. So I'm going to, I'm going to perfect this move. It has to be now. How can I push it farther? What else can I do to make it more powerful? I've got it. Quetzal Mask has been passed, passed her power onto me. If you add hers to mine, that gives us that gives me two million power. And since I'm jumping with twice as much as usual as usual, what? And since I'm jumping with twice as much force as usual, that's two times two million, giving me four million power. Then, if I spin with three times the force, it's a total of 12 million power, enough to surpass you two. Alright, that the numbers don't lie. And we win at sacrifice. Well, if we leave this map aside, this is amazing. Our body is glowing like an arrow of light. As a shield wielder myself, I think I might be witnessing a legend in the making. Did they die? The smoke is clearing. Who won? How did it turn out? Four, four? Everyone is sprawling out in the ring, even Quetzal Mask, who used all her strength for the throw. Who's gonna stand up first? Vi's mm. eye eyelids are so long. Oh, it's like the stars are spinning, so rocking. Anastasia is down for the count. That just leaves. <gasps> Impressive. You have managed to give even the Slara an icy shills. Boy, you talk too much. Such insolence is unprecedented in all of history. They should be proud of your accomplishments, criminal though it is. Your moves was fearsome indeed, but alas, it lacked polish. Had you perfected it, perfected it, you may have well defeated me, but instead you have succeeded at breaking one of my tusks. Mm. To reward your prowess, I will end you myself. It will be as though you were enclosed in Rasha's mountains. At the count of three, you will fall deeply asleep and your long hibernation will begin. Ah, he's about to fall on top of her. Wake up, Bradamante, wake up! The only one taking a nap here is you. God, my eye! I knew you had, <laughs> you had to have eyes somewhere in that huge head of yours. Allow me to explain my ultimate move. It's not a move I like to use since it doesn't exactly cast me in the best light, but never mind that, I call it Playing Possum. Full. Now that I think of it, I think I did read something like about this in one of the Legends of Charlemagne. That's right, this is the same move I used during my battle with the evil sorcerer Atlanta. But that's just important. That's not important right now. What is important is that this is as far as you go, Ivan the Terrible. 
Impossible. I am the smart. I am meant to be the victor. He loses. Ring, 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 ring. Mont Hill, I did it. Nice. Go, go, girl. Congratulations. Now that you defeated those fearsome opponents, you're officially moving on to the finals. Amazing job, you two. Fall, fall, fall. Wow, even I never expected we'd be able to rely on our barely completed new move to get through that match. It's like you told it's like I told you, I have a knack for coming through when it really counts. Boy, it's a good thing that the other Santa came to give us advice, otherwise we'd never have come up with that move. I wonder, maybe she was actually Lord Merlin in disguise. Pretty sure that's not the case. Anyway, it goes to show that the knights who walk the path of righteousness receive the advice they need. As long as we believe our path is right and keep on fighting no matter what, I'm sure we'll win the next match too. Still, your final opponent is definitely going to be her, right? That's true, yes. We'll be up against the other Quetzalcoatl. Another me with her own divinity. Soon she's the side of me who is devoted to battle. She's bound to quite the advantage over us in terms of raw power, yes? Don't forget that the first time we fought, she overwhelmed me with strength alone. Yes, the same thing happened to me when I went up against her. But she does. But that doesn't matter. We've been. We've both grown up and. <sighs> we've both grown a lot over the course of the Santa Tag Team Tournament, and now we have. Now and now we know we have got ourselves a new move as well. There's no way we can lose. Entende? Yes. There's no luchador in the world who steps into the ring expecting to lose, no? It's a wonderful. It's wonderful you're so fired up about this. What more could I want? Still, I have to wonder about her partner. Given that this is a tag team tournament, Black Quetzal Mass must have a partner of her own. Right. While it's possible her partner is only there to fill in Team Quota, we could expect them to be quite a powerful force unto themselves. Assuming this partner is a capable servant, I can't help but wonder what sort of person they are. I suppose it's a little unnerving that we have no information about them whatsoever. I've been looking into earlier matches and her partner has never so much as set foot in the ring. They must have kept their cloak on while Black Quetzal Mask won the matches by herself. She might be having her partner save her strength or could there be another reason we don't know yet? Well, if we don't know who the mysterious partner is, there's no point in prying any further. Besides, any moment ago, we didn't even know she had a partner, now we do. It's all we need to know, yes? If this partner does not fight in the final, then we will have a clear advantage, and if they do show up, we can always take them out first. That makes sense, given that the, these are tag team matches. But anyway, even if we do only have one last match, our task is unchanged. Train hard and make sure we're in a good condition for tomorrow. Oh, and make sure we perfect the new move of, our, of ours too. Bring it on! As your manager, I'll do my best I can to finish strong, too. Alright. Since this will be our last match, this means we will be our last chance to go to practice with you, Wookie. I can already tell I'm going to miss this time when it's over. But I'm gonna I'm getting ahead of myself. We still have a big match to win first, don't we? I'm sure I'll be able to devote myself to training, knowing we've got you've got my back. That's right, I'm constantly looking at your back, Brad Monte. What? Hey, <laughs> Steam! Hey, <laughs> hey, So the day has finally arrived. The day this festival, this tournament, must come to an end so that I can stay true to myself. Although. Hey, hey, don't worry, you still won't be doing, be going out there. Though you will be on the sidelines for this match as well. Know that the reason will be quite different. Up till now, I've kept you on the sidelines simply because I didn't need your help to win. But this next match will be different given who our opponents are. Your stepping into the ring would obliterate any chance they have of winning. This is the final after all. We can't have it ending too quickly. If you do just get a turn, it only means the very end to before they break in their spirit. And when the match is over, the count of three will mark the birth of a true Santa Claus and the beginning of Christmas everlasting. Hehehe. Mwahaha. Hoohaha. Okay. One quartz. 
Join me next time for the Day 7 Black Mask Santa Claus. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>